I mean, uh, Aluxa. This is the apartment I took. It's the cheapest one I found in Aluxa actually, like 25 a night. Tomorrow my plan is to pretty much go to uh, Kuprova. There's a big factory there. I have like a few hours there till the next bus comes. Then take the bus to Rejekne, which where I'll stay the nights again. Bird is definitely trying to attack me now. He's doing some low flying maneuvers. Look, he's gonna come at me. Okay. I think they have their nest over there. Which makes him or her angry. Alright. A few things I want to do differently. And what are different from the last trip. This is obviously longer uh, distance and time-wise trip. It's more ambitious. Uh, there are bigger goals, and that is obviously a bit of a challenge. But that's the fun part of it. The change I want to yeah, do with the last trip is that I want to eat healthier this time. Last time, pretty much almost every time, I just bought some junk food or just, you know, for lunch had some pretty, you know, not, not the best food, just some weird energy bars, oat bars, whatever. They're not like super healthy either. It's not like real food. I want to eat real food this time. For dinner, I did um, borscht. For morning, I'm gonna eat cottage cheese and canned tuna. You know, it's not like just uh, instant noodles or shit like that. What else is different? Well, getting bus tickets and in general, it's uh, it was it was hard to find how to buy them, but I eventually I found it through the mobile app. Or if you can't buy from there, just get it from the bus driver the ticket. <coughs> You know, that brings another challenge, which is a language barrier. Some of them may not speak English, which can be a problem. So far, it hasn't been a problem. I guess that's it for day one. It's kind of a simple day again. Alright, I made it to the, I made it to Kuprova. Right now I'm gonna walk to the factory. I did some research and it's pretty much a uh, drainage pipe factory. Well, it was. Yeah, it was opened in uh, somewhere in the 60s or 70s, I think. And was closed in 1992. Kuprova itself, pretty much. When they built the train station, then after that uh, they built the factory and through the factory they built the five apartments. I've literally been wanting to go here for like two years. Like I'm finally here. It looks amazing. 
It's massive. Oh, there's a car. Well, I guess I'm uh, going from here then. Listening for sounds. There they are. Check out the other buildings meanwhile. I'm gonna check out this uh, building first. I'm gonna guess this was like offices, the administrative building. Yeah, it's pretty much just demolished like crazy. We're knocked down walls. It's obviously pretty empty because it's a popular place. Fat is bad. That's a collapsed uh, ceiling. All right. Hmm. Judging by the window, this could have been the canteen, cafeteria. This is bad, yeah. Huh. What the fuck? How did you just rip the whole fucking wall out? Okay, this is more like offices, I bet. Really small, small ones though. Could have also been like, I don't know, uh, places to sleep in for the workers. It's a roof entrance, why not do it? I say fuck it, let's go. Here we gotta look good. Good view of everything what's in here. <clears throat> this is like the biggest building that goes for a while. I want to check out that. Oh, 1971, that's when it was built. It's on the smokestack. There's another building back there that seems to have a more fresher roof, so it could actually still be in here somewhat. So there is like a conveyor that either takes them up or down from the building to here. I'm guessing this was a warehouse. 
This was the main production hall. So it seems as um, it's actually been professionally demolished. You can see like everything except the frame of the building and more important walls have been kept. I guess these used to be like main machines where they may be like <clears throat> turned to molten steel into pipes or shaped the pipes. I don't really know anything about this kind of manufacturing stuff, but as far as I can tell you, yeah, these were some important things here. like sludge and mold. Very gross. These. These may be the dangerous plants. I'm not sure. I almost walked right into that. Yeah, it's just another work. Uh, Manufacture hall with these kind of buildings. I mean, rooms. What I meant by this being a dangerous plant, maybe. To my knowledge, these uh, are they're very dangerous. By touching them, they will literally irritate your skin very badly. Yeah, it's pr it can pretty much be lethal. But I, I could be completely wrong in talking about another plant. I don't think I'm gonna check out the silos. They just look pretty basic. Alright. It's just storage again. It's a gas mask, I think. Oh, and documents. O I R M G G Materialov. It's just some material like checklist. This building is taller than that, I'm just halfway still. It's like a good seven story still. So yeah, you can see that is definitely in use. Just stuff going on right now there. I'm gonna try to walk gently so I don't, I don't know, risk anything. There are these kind of like metal things in the floor that they basically held up the conveyor belt had moved the material through the buildings. Actually, thinking about it, there's... Mm, yeah. All right, it's blocked off. Mm-hmm. I guess I have to go back, I think. Yep. It's a nice view. All right, I guess we're going back. So that's, that's basically
basically add that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's basically that thing. <laughs> I was walking there. Um, it seems like there's a few smaller buildings there, but I'm not gonna check them out because they look kind of boring, I gotta be honest. Seems like a different building, actually. G garage. Yeah. For the massive tractors and semi trucks and trailers. Could have been a loading area. Okay. It's held in with a bolt, but I'm not gonna have a look inside because I can already see it's just trash. It's just trash and garbage and rubbish. That's 1970, so one year before the big, bigger buildings. Yeah. This was also demolished to just bare frames and walls. Nothing else. Vandalized, pretty trashed, pretty demolished. That's what happens to a popular abandoned place. It gets destroyed. Even found this blank. All right. I know this leads to a dead end, but I can get a good view of that bigger building. Holy shit. To fall down is pretty deadly. like pretty round so I'm gonna be careful <laughs> this is some new stuff this just seems like a loading dock I mean loading area all right, that's pretty much the place. It is quite empty and trashed, but also really massive, so there's still a lot to look at, you know. I'm gonna go back towards Kuprava, check around the school, check out the apartment buildings till Till it's time to go to the bus stop, which is in 40 minutes. That should give me enough time to check out the apartment roof. That would give me a good look at the actual like center of the village. 
I don't know, just a good view, you know. Alright, that's the school. It's completely locked. I don't want to like straight up break in, you know. Hey, hello. All right, so yeah. With my tiny knowledge of uh, Russian, I asked if this is a school from that old lady, and she said yes. Yeah, it's quite obvious. I tried the door, it's completely locked. So in reality, I think this building is abandoned too. That is closed, that one's closed. That one also is, I think. There's like massive padlocks and shit. Damn, bro. If I could check this out, that would be fucking awesome, guys. I can see the furniture is still there. Yeah, that's just definitely interesting. I'm in my uh, I'm in my room. Uh, I was charging my battery, so I could I didn't I couldn't like record much. Anyways, I had my dinner. Uh, I bought uh, food for tomorrow. Tomorrow's plan. The plan is to take a bus to that uh, uh, village that I want to go to to check out that school and the manor and then walk back to uh, another village where I will take a bus to dog off bills yeah so far everything's been according to plan which is uh, very good it wasn't like that very much last time <laughs> <laughs>